guys welcome back to my channel in this tutorial i'm going to explain about the lazy loading in detail so if you have not followed me on the instagram and facebook so here is the link please follow me there so what is lazy loading and what are the benefits see lazy loading means you can load your module as and when required it will make the application lightweight that means for an instance if you have 10 module in one project so that does not means you should load all the module when your application load first time on the web browser it should always be prefer load the module or particular module as and when required so that the browser or web web application load faster on the web browser yeah and it will also your application lightweight so let me go to the visual studio code and we'll add one component and then we'll see how you can uh, you know lazy load the module so let me add the one module ng g for generate m for module so i'll say customer hyphen hyphen routing yeah we know that this particular syntax will add the routing file as well inside the customer module so custom module is added so inside this there is no component so we'll add one component ng g for generate c for component and we'll add order so we'll say customer your folder name then order is component name now component is added so we'll open the routing file of customer module so let me open this and here i will add the route so we'll import the order component here from slash order slash order component and then the component name order component so here we'll add route say path uh will say order and the component will be order component that's fine now what we'll do we have customer component and order component sorry more app component right so now how we can import this customer component inside this so what we'll do we'll open the routing file of app component so here is the routing file so we are not going to inject custom module anywhere inside the project will only import here at once so that will make the lazy loading so we'll say import not here we'll straight away mention here inside the routing we'll say path uh then we'll mention uh, uh customer yeah customer or any other name whatever you like so here i will not mention order that's fine so inside the app routing we'll say load children and with the help of arrow function will lazy load we'll say import import and inside the bracket will load the customer module and then customer module dot then x arrow x dot customer customer uh, routing module right now we don't need customer routing module we need to inject uh, module yeah customer module because routing file is very different customer what is say uh, declaration is something else so we'll say here just remove it again slash customer module this file okay and then x arrow x dot customer module so in this way we can lazy load any module right so now we are not importing anywhere right so let's save the file where is the routing file let's save it now we need to add one menu so here on the on the app dot html we'll add a and we'll name the customer order so let's add the hrf so hrf here we should write router link and so router link will be customer slash order so your 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 customer will be refer from the app routing i mean this one and order order will be your order will from here this routing file so in this way we can able to create the route and at the last we should add the router outlet otherwise the routing will not going to work
this very important line save it now every changes has been done so we'll run the application and we'll see ng sir so as the as this is uh, compiling up so we should also add some logs so we able to know if the module is loaded at runtime or not so in the custom module we'll add the cus console dot log and say customer module load and save it so by this syntax we able to know that it's loaded at some time some uh, at, at runtime now application compiled successfully so we'll open the console and type localhost 4200 and see the console let's clean everything so when i click here so it says customer load module that means when i will load the link or menu then only that particular module load otherwise that particular module won't load on the browser until it is not required right so in this way your application will run faster there is there will not be any performance issue right so in thank you for watching this video and if you have any question related with the lazy loading or my previous tutorial please mention the question in the comment box i will be very happy to answer and if you are new to this tutorial and channel please subscribe the channel and share the link with the others thank you